Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 12th Microsoft Word 2007 tutorial and today's topic should be pretty brief. I just want to share with you um, some ways to insert mathematical formulas into a Word document. So if you're typing up a paper and you need to display um, you know, formulas, whether it's fractions or a complex formula, there is a way to do it. Of course, Excel would um, certainly have a lot more um, options, however, uh, this is a, a quick and easy way of getting uh, math formulas into a Word document. So the first thing you do is you go over to the Insert tab and you go to Equation and if you click on Equation it brings up a whole design um, uh, tab here for you. So you can do a couple things here. You notice what it did. It threw a, when I clicked on Equation it threw a Type Equation here box up here and I have a pull down menu here. So a couple things you can do here. One is you can go into the Equation pull down menu here and you can choose from any one of the predefined you know whether it's a quadratic formula or the area of a circle um, you can choose those just click it and it will insert it then you can do the pull down over here and you can do several different options like change to inline in your document or justify it to the left as an example I'll put it back in the center and I'll actually um, click off of there and I'm gonna make it bigger just so we can see things Okay, so another thing you can do here is you can go in and create your own. So you can go insert equation, and and in here instead of using one of those predefined ones, you can go into here, and let's assume you just want to do, I'll just make something up, two, and then I want to do, let's see, times pi, let's say. So I can go in here to all these symbols over here. Let me go back to this. There's a symbols menu here. If you click the pull down, it will expand and give you all these default symbols. So there's everything in here from you know infinity to plus minus to square root. So I'll just do a pi for right now. So I'm going to do pi, and then I'll do um, r. Okay. Now let's assume that's a formula that I want to save, and I want to use it five times through my document, or ten times, or use it in uh, papers that I'm working on. I could do the pull down here, and I could say save as new equation and I could call it whatever I want to. So I'm going to call it, I'm just going to call it test as an example. I'm going to say OK. And now if I go over here and I want to use that later, I can go to insert equation and do the pull down and you'll notice that I have that as an option. So you can make as many of those as you'd like. All right, And then when you leave just make sure you save you save those as options. So you've got your equations You've got um, you've got all your symbols that you can use, and then also in addition, you can go over here to fractions, scripts, um, operators. You know all these different options over here. You've got different operators. You can make matrices. Um, so there's pretty much a, a very large variety of uh, of options here for you to use um, when it comes to math. For example, if you want to type in, you know, fractions that look nice and clean and not have word format them for you, you can use fraction options. Just do the pull down, and it will it will give you lots of options. So same for any any number of these. So that's really what I wanted to share with you today, and then you can um, format them however you want to and put them in your document, uh, justify them, whatever you're trying to do. So, anyways, hopefully that helps, and please subscribe. Take care. Thank you.